What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here in today's video, um, I will be discussing and talking about um, a player who I think is one of the toughest players in all of college basketball right now. Um, and I will just be talking about him and kind of introducing him to people who don't know him if for some reason they don't know him. But I will also be discussing why I think he needs or deserves a little bit more respect in all of college basketball. Now, before I get into this video, um, if you have not already, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Um, I've been dropping a lot of videos lately and I'm going to continue to do so. So if you enjoy my videos or, or like watching them, please, a subscription would, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. The player that I'm doing this video on is Maryland Terrapins guard, Daryl Morsell. Um, you know, Daryl Morsell has this year, especially shown how important he is um, to this team, the Maryland team, you know, previous years, I think Maryland fans have taken him for granted just because they've had a lot of scorers and playmakers, but Morsell can score a little bit, but most importantly, he plays defense and does everything that a player like should do. He, he scoring isn't the number one big thing that he does, but you know, he does everything, which really helps the team. Like I said before, he plays defense, you know, at every game, it seems like he's guarding the, the top player and, you know, in the Illinois game, when Maryland pulled off the upset a few nights ago, Morsell was guarding Ayo Desunmu all game, which for Desunmu was definitely tough. Um, you know, it's expected of that when, when you have a guy like Morsell guarding somebody. But Desunmu ended up with 23 points. If you watch that game, though, it wasn't until late. And Morsell, you know, really set the tone early with guarding him. You know, he was forcing him to take bad shots. Tsumu just, you could tell, was uncom uncomfortable and did not like the matchup. Like I said, he ended up with 23 points and started getting some shots to fall late and getting inside and making some plays. But still, Daryl Morsell had an effect on him to kind of hold him off early, let Maryland keep the game close. And once that confidence is going, you could see anything could happen. As we saw, Maryland took down Illinois. So the Turpins are 7-6 and six this year. Um, you know, it's been an up-and-down season for them. But they've taken down Wisconsin at Wisconsin – and Illinois at Illinois. So seven of six, two of your seven wins are at top 15 teams, you know, on the road in a tough games that you were able to pull out. So, you know, if, if they can win some more games this year and, and pull off a few more upsets, those upsets will definitely be, you know, what could get them into the NCAA tournament or not. I'm not exactly sure if they will do that. Um, but coming into the year, not a lot of teams expected that. But like I said before, Daryl Morsell has had an effect on this team and really, you know, brought the guys together. And he, he's just been the rock for this team. And that's exactly what Maryland needed this year out of him. Um, you know, he's averaging about 8.6 points, I believe. So, you know, he, he's not averaging 20 points a game like some guys in college basketball. But it's not just points with him. Daryl Morsell, everybody knows Daryl Morsell is going to do anything he can for this team to win games. Daryl Morsell throughout his career at Maryland has been, you know, a guy who does everything he can to win games. Um, you know, this year he's had, to, like I said before, had to take on the point guard role because, you know, his previous three years he played with Anthony Cowan. When you have a guy like Anthony Cowan who always brings the ball up when he's on the court, he's not he, – he doesn't have to bring the ball up. You know, he was, he was playing some small forward and some shooting guard last year, but Anthony Cowan always has the ball in his hands. Now Eric Ayala and Daryl Morsell both – are kind of bringing the ball up. They're switching that. Um, against Illinois, it was tough with Eric Ayala out. Morsell had to take on a huge step. Um, and they also saw Hakeem Hart, you know, bring the ball up a little bit for Maryland. But it just has really impressed me, the steps that Morsell has taken forward throughout his career. Um, you know, like I said before, he has always been a player who wants to win games and will do whatever he can to help this team win games. We've seen it, you know, in the NCAA tournament against Belmont, Morsell was making plays. Uh, you know, he had the steal late in the game, dished it to Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith had a dunk, and Maryland won the game. So throughout his whole career, you know, Morsell has always been a guy who, you know, makes plays late and when they need it to happen. For example, another one this year in the Illinois game. Late in the game, Maryland up one point. You know, they need a basket. A basket would basically make it either a two-possession game if they had a three or a three-point game if they could get a layup. Morsell goes to the basket, absorbs the contact. There was no foul called, and Morsell finishes the layup. You need players like that. A guy, you know, and he scored his career high 19 points, which was huge for Maryland. You know, anytime Maryland gets points out of him this year like that, Maryland's going to compete with anybody in the country. 
I really believe that because when Morsell's scoring, not only is he doing well on the offensive end, but it seems like it gives him a little bit of a, more of a spark on the defensive end. You know, no matter what, even if Morsell's having an off night, he still plays defense. That you will never question his character in that because that's just the player he's been throughout his college career. But when he's scoring a ton of points, it seems like it's even easier for him at the defensive end. He's forcing turnovers, making guys uncomfortable, which is most important, and he's done it. And I just really think it's been important for him, you know, to score some points because he deserves it. Um, in games this year, for example, the Iowa game, you know, he came off of a, a facial injury. You know, he broke a bone in his face. And we kind of saw not as much out of him offensively just because it's understandable. You know, it's his first game with a mask on. Maryland is matching up against the Iowa team who, who just really outplayed them and Morsell didn't have his best game. Maryland ended up losing by 22. Then, you know, after that game, it seemed like a lot of people were kind of counting Maryland out for the Illinois game, no matter what. Um, nobody really expected them to compete. And Morsell comes into this game and has probably his best offense, definitely his best offensive game throughout his career at Maryland. Um, and in an upset against Wisconsin, I don't think, I think he scored about eight points, 10 points, but just what he did on the defensive end, you know, he gives the team a spark and he's a great leader. This is his senior year and Morcel has really turned in throughout, even his freshman year, you could see it. He was a, he was a true leader, but his senior year, he knows exactly what his purpose is and his role is on this team. And he's always bringing the guys together. He's always talking to the guys and he's the, probably the oldest player on this team. So he's done everything he needs to, to try to, you know, get Maryland to win in every game. They're not going to win every game. Maryland is not as good as they have been this year. They have some different pieces, but Morsell is doing everything he can to win them games. And in the Big Ten Conference this year, they are definitely competing against the best teams. You know, the, the Iowa game, as I said before, they lost by 22. Um, but they took down Wisconsin, who's one of the better teams in the Big Ten. And they also took down Illinois, as I said before, who's one of the better teams in the Big Ten. So, Morsell's play has shown you what, how it kind of goes on to the other players. You know, if Morsell plays well, it seems like the whole team has a spark and everybody is playing well. Um, and in games where Morsell, you know, isn't playing as good or isn't on the court, for example, the Michigan game, you know, Maryland was competing with Michigan all the, throughout the whole first half. You know, they were getting after it, playing really good basketball. Late in the first half, Morsell gets hit in the face, breaks a bone in his face, can't play the second half. The, the team wouldn't let him play the second half, knowing how Morsell is. You know, you know he was trying to get in there. You know, Turgeon said after the game, head coach Mark Turgeon, he said uh, Morsell was doing everything he could and was upset they wouldn't let him go back in. But, you know, he had a broken bone in his face, so it probably was the best outcome that they didn't put him back in. But he didn't play the whole second half. Maryland was down one at halftime and ended up losing by double digits. That shows you what, what impact he has on the court. Then in the Indiana game, the next time, Maryland, you know, was competing throughout the first half. Morsell didn't play at all, but the effect he has late in the games, the leadership he shows on the court and what he does for this team, I think just shows you, you know, in the second half, Maryland needs a guy who's going to get the ball and either make a play or help someone else make a play and get a stop on defense. Maryland didn't have that against Indiana. They lost on the road. Both of Maryland's big wins this year against ranked teams are on the road. And both games, Daryl Morsell played a huge factor. Maryland needs... Daryl Morsell to continue to play the way he did against Illinois if they want to make the NCAA tournament this year. And I believe he is fully capable of it. Anytime Morsell can play like he did against Illinois, score 19 points, guard the top scorer on the other team, and shut them down really throughout most of the game, Maryland will be able to compete with anybody in the country. The problem is they're going to need other guys to step up because, you know, Morsell's not going to score 19 every single game. But the effect Morsell will have on the team could help other guys step up. And we've already seen it. Um, Hakeem Hart, the guard from who, who was a freshman last year, plays in Maryland. He didn't really do too much last year. This year, he's been forced to kind of take on a bigger role because Maryland doesn't have as many pieces. And, you know, we had a game where he scored 33 this year. It's, it's just crazy. The, the guys who are having to step up this year and how they have. Um, Eric Ayala is hurt right now. I'm not sure how, what the time frame is on that injury. But whenever Maryland gets him back, That'll be another guy who can kind of take care of the ball up top and make some plays there. But if they have Morsell playing the way that he did against Illinois on offense, that is going to make it easier for everybody. And another big thing from the Illinois game that really impresses me about Daryl Morsell 
was the, the way that other people, you know, on the team and other coaches talk about him. After the game, you know, we saw Aaron Wiggins, who uh, plays a huge factor on this team, say, you know, how important Morcel is for the energy, to the energy for this team. Um, you know, every time Morcel steps on the court, you kind of see guys, like I said before, play with a spark. And, you know, it's really impressive hearing other guys on the team, you know, say that because if the guys on the court know how Morcel is on the, how important Morcel is on the court, then, you know, guys really want him playing. So when he's out, it really hurts the team as a whole. And, you know, they don't have that guy. Also, Mark Turgeon, after the game, said Morcel is everything for this team. To me, that just should show everybody what impact Morcel has on this Maryland team. And I don't know how many other guys in college basketball are like that. Um, now, there are a ton of, you know, players, if you take off a team, who will not be the same team. However, I'm talking about with intensity, defense, energy, all of that. I'm not sure how many more guys in college basketball have the same intensity and play with as much heart as Daryl Morcel does. And that's what impresses me about this player. And looking to next year, my guess would be he will leave for the NBA draft. I have no idea. I'm not exactly sure. But all NBA scouts and GMs and stuff like that that watch Maryland play should know what Daryl Morcel will bring to any NBA team. You know, Morcel could choose to come back to Maryland next year. And if that happens, I think Maryland will end up being a top 10, top five team in uh, next college basketball season. They're bringing in some good recruits. And like I said before, Daryl Morcel is the rock of this team and he's just a natural leader. But if he goes to the NBA, I think that'll be great for him as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure, you know, what, what the GMs and scouts will be looking at or looking for. But if you look at Daryl Morcel, this guy is a true basketball player. He's intense. He plays with heart and he plays defense. So looking for the future for him, I definitely think whatever NBA team drafts him or signs him or takes him will be getting a great basketball player. Now that is it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Um, you know, if you like this video, please leave a like, you know, and, and comment some of your thoughts about it because I'm not really sure how many, what college basketball fans, um, you know, really think about Daryl Morsell. And if, if you know who he is, um, you know, just kind of let me know what your opinion is on this video. And like I said before, please, if you guys really enjoy watching my videos, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm, I'm putting out a ton of videos and I will continue to. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you.